everybody, it's me again. <laughs> I have about an hour and a half until I'm free again and I can get out of quarantine. So I'm going to do a little bit of a general reading just to see what's going on. Could be any sign, could be any situation. I drew a couple already, but most of this is going to be live drawn. And like I said, any sign, any situation, I'm just going to spew out what spirit gives me for the message of whoever needs it out there. <laughs> and I'm back and able to be myself again and I'm not sick anymore. So hopefully I can do some videos for the rest of the week. Um, it depends on how well my voice um, holds up. So let's start. We have Speak Up. Um, I'm vibing for this is talking about what you will stand for, what you want to do. It's time to speak up to what you're comfortable doing and what you're not comfortable doing. Um, what has been hurting you. I feel like you've been just kind of taking it on the chin for the sake of peace. Especially, oh, hiccups, holiday season. It's time to speak up and say your peace. You don't have to do so in a negative way. Um, but it is time to get it out of your body because it's toxic just sitting in there, not going anywhere. Take the lead on your own life. Stop following other people. Like if this is about work, um, I feel like you're getting into trouble by following other people's lead. Maybe you have a boss that isn't very good in the long run. Take the lead on your own direction here. Speak up about what you want to speak up about. Um, or feeling the need to, or being called to say, um, don't do things other people's way. Do it your way now. Think things through. Do you really want this job? Do you really want this relationship? Do you really want the life that you have and the way it's going right now? I think you need to take the lead on the changes you feel are necessary, whether it's leaving a job, leaving a relationship, moving, whatever that is, it's time to think about what you really want and what you really need to make your life and your situation better. Focus on your success. Don't focus on what other people are doing or if they're like hating on you and being really nasty, just turn all your time and attention towards your own success. Don't focus on depressive like things or um, negative thoughts. If you want to be successful in this life, you got to take the lead. Think things through before it comes out of your mouth. Be very professional. Be very... Be on the light side of things and not the dark. I feel like people are testing you a little bit. Um, shaking you up a little bit. Stay away from the drama today. This is avoid anything that is dramatic. Um, anything that will set you back or make you look bad. It's time to take a step back here. Commit to self-care rituals. You're very stressed out. Like they said, you need to sit and think things through. You need to raise your own vibrations. Feel good about yourself. So it's time to do a little self-love. and Whatever that is to you. Um, Give yourself some attention here to help relieve some of that stress. Look for the signs and synchronicities. Well, they got 1111. I see that all the time. I've been seeing it pretty much all year. To me, 1111 is to do with twin flames or um, new beginnings. This is looking looking at the signs, like going towards the job you really like. Um, if you're getting signs about a person or if you're hearing songs all the time, listen to the lyrics. We're really trying to show you what direction to go in right now. Your reality is a reflection of your inner world. So how you think about yourself is going to become your life. So you need to heal your thoughts and think positively about yourself. Be focused on the fact that you can make a change for the positive here. Today holds unlimited possibilities to see the beauty in life. Don't focus on the negative things. Don't focus on negative people. See the beauty that there is good people, that there is good jobs, that there is good relationships out there. There are good things. All you got to do is find what works for you and go after your good thing. Ask for help. It doesn't make you weak. You might need some help here. Maybe you need to see a psychiatrist, talk things through. Maybe you need help with money. Maybe you need help moving or help getting a job, working on a resume. It's time to speak up now and ask for that help that you need. Ooh. <laughs> I have three decks out here. I did shuffle these already, but I will do it live today. Let's see, let's get 
some numerology. Follow your dreams. Yes, it's time to focus on what you want to do. Where are you going from here? What will make you happy? You might actually be getting actual signs in your dreams. Rebirth. Yes. Changing your life. We're all getting a second chance to start over in 2020. 2021 is going to be about that action that we're taking. House. This is... You're very stressed out. You're very concerned. You're very worried about your future. It's time to... To take a deep breath, take a time out, self-love, and realize that everything works itself out. Focus on what direction you want to go in. If you, What kind of job do you want to go after? What kind of person are you looking for? Really narrow down the specifics so you don't stress so much. You will work on that perseverance that you can succeed. You will succeed. Have faith in yourself. Do creative things. I feel like that's going to help you relax. Um, whether it's journaling, drawing, um, working on a music project, anything that you feel good about, I would I would put that time and energy into it. Be creative on how you problem solve. Adventure 5-5 five, five, to me is talking about change. It's time for a new adventure for you. You need to self-discipline. Maybe it's time to save up some money. Um, working on how you're thinking about yourself and feeling about yourself. Don't allow the bad thoughts to come in. You want domestic harmony. Maybe you want to move. Maybe it's time to make peace. Um, leave situations that are toxic. Get your own place. Nature. This is about, to me, um, getting outside, getting some fresh air. I know it's really cold around here. This could also be talking about centering yourself. Where'd it go? I saw one pack. Been stuck in your pride a little bit. It's time to come up out of the bad part of your pride and come into the good part of your pride. Like, I am a good person. I'm a hard worker. Um, have pride in yourself, especially if you're going after another job. But don't be stuck in your pride about this domestic harmony, about making up with people, deading any drama. Put the effort into yourself now. It's, it's one thing to just say and acknowledge that you need a change in your life. Now it's time to put that effort into doing it. Again, yeah, work effort into changing your life, whatever sense that is, whether you want to move, whether you want to better your relationships, whether you want a new job, it's time to put the effort in. Teaching and learning. What has this year taught you? What is this bad job? What is this relationship? What is this rough patch taught you? Learn from it so that you don't make the same mistakes twice. Surrender to the will of the divine. Surrender to fate. What will be will be. I can't sit around stressing and worrying about it. I'm just going to go after. Surrender your low self-esteem or lack of belief of yourself for belief of yourself. that You can do this. You can't control things. All we can do is put forth the effort. You have a happy ending coming. You will have a happy ending. No one believes that in your soul. But you've got to communicate. You might need some help here. Um, maybe you need someone to help you really sit down and hammer out. Um, a resume or ask people if they hear any job openings or ask people if you can come and stay with them if you're not happy with where you're living or if they know of a place of rent that you could rent out or move to it's time to speak about the things that you need the hermit spend time in quiet meditation spiritual teaching self-discovery self could be a Virgo out here um, this is time to sit with yourself and figure out what you really need, what you really want. Where do you go from here? It's time to think about that. Nine of Earth. Enjoying life's little luxuries. Spending quiet time alone. Successful self-employment. Maybe you want to be your own boss. If you're thinking about going that way, I feel like it will be successful for you. Or if you need to raise money, maybe you could lean on your, some skill, on your personal skills. Um, and try to find a way to make money with what you're good at. If you're good at fixing cars, maybe you could fix a car or two in your garage to get some money. If you're a good baker, it, now's a good time to start selling Christmas cookies. Like whatever your skills are, maybe you can make some money doing that. Seven of Fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battle battles wisely. Stand your ground with people who speak really bad of you or... If they say that you aren't worthy of something, now it's time to stick up for yourself and say, yes, I am. 
I just don't feel like you're somebody good for me. You're good in my life. You're toxic. You're bad for my soul. I don't want you around anymore. Could be that as well. Defend your beliefs. If you're believing in yourself and starting this business and you know that you can do it, stand up for that. Don't let anyone tell you that it's a stupid idea. Eight of water. A desire to move on. A search for something more meaningful. Spiritual and emotional growth. Yeah. You want to move on from a job. You want to move on from a home life situation. That I'm just feeling the need to um, start fresh here. It's not working for you where you are. You, Your soul. You feel like you're losing your soul or you're just drowning in misery. You want to be happy. Maybe it's getting a new job. Maybe it's moving by yourself. Four of air. Time to take a rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. Again, referencing before you do anything, you need to sit in meditation. Let spirit talk to you. Take that rest to figure out what you really want to change here. That you're not just acting out of anger. Ace of air. Brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging beginning. So if you do sit in contemplation, you are going to get that clarity that you need. You're going to know what you need to do. You're going to see the truth about a situation maybe that you're not seeing now. But it's going to take that sitting sitting with yourself and centering yourself and getting calm. King of air. Brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. So maybe you're, you're wanting to get some help in the professional aspect. I feel like you're going to have help coming in to do that. A of air, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So this is where you are right now. You're just feeling like you're stuck in the situation that's not going to get any better. If you want it to get better, Spirit's saying you got to put forth that effort to make the change. It's just an illusion. You're not really trapped. You can make money. You can focus on your success. If, if you're trapped financially, make a plan to make money. That's a way of getting out of being trapped. If it's being trapped emotionally, um, this is where you need to sit in contemplation and think about what you can do to better your situation. Talk to someone. Ask for help if you need to stay with somebody for a while. The moon. Important psychic insights. Events behind the scenes. Release fears that hold you back. Spirit's stepping in here. There, I don't feel like you're seeing the change coming. Um, there's a lot of illusions, um, mostly that you're telling yourself about being stuck, like you're never going to have any better. Those are all setbacks here. You're going to get to the point where you're going to see something. You're going to get a sign like this is where I'm supposed to go. This is where I'm supposed to work. This is the person I'm supposed to be with. You're going to get those signs. You're just not seeing it at this time. Six of fire. Victory. Good news is on its way. Public re recognition or rewards. So good news is going to come in. Um, people might be recognizing that you're struggling and need help and come through to do that. Or if you're doing something in the public eye, this is a good sign it's going to go well. Nine of air, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights. But you can sabotage that good victory coming in if you stay in that lack mentality that you're in now, thinking that you're stuck, you're never going to get any better. You Now is the time to dead those thoughts because it's a roadblock in your life. Five of fire, completing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So yeah, you're in a situation where there's a lot of conflicts. You are completing goals, whether you're seeing it or not. Um, I just feel like you need a break. You need to step back from toxicity and conflict and really see the big picture here. Ace of Earth, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So I feel like you are going to be getting a new job here. So that's good news. Let's see, what else do we got going on for this? Closing out with some. Forget what tarot deck this is. <laughs> the Oracle of Mystical Moments. There's a lot of decks. I can't remember them all. <laughs> I haven't used this in a while, so I felt like pulling it for this one. Get a few and we'll read it for you. You've got good things coming in. I just think you're very stressed out. You're very stuck in your head. Um, you're beating yourself up. You're thinking bad about yourself. So they're warning you to get out of that because that's gonna what what you're gonna be manifesting if you don't. Okay. 
Miss Sunshine, you can, this is talking about raising your vibration. Like, I can get a new job. I do have skills. I can make my own money. I can open my own business. I can be okay by myself. You really need to work on believing that. Um, Miss Sunshine talks about the sun card having a good omen here. Good things are coming. You've got to trust and believe the universe has got you. You're going to be okay. Don't try not to stress so much. Butterfly Garden, to me, you're changing. You're slowly changing every day with realizing that you're not happy, that you need to change here in whatever direction that is. You are recognizing it. You are working hard on changing your yourself and your belief in yourself. You're evolving. Liberty, you want freedom. Like you said, or like the card said, you feel very stuck, very trapped. You're working towards your liberty here, which is your actual freedom. Could be leaving a toxic job, a toxic situation. Moon dance. To me, there's things that you aren't seeing um, about the situation, about your freedom, that you are always free. You always have the choice. Um, this is you taking that leap of faith of asking other people for help. Um, maybe you've been alluding that you're okay and that you're happy and now it's time to come to the people you love and say, I'm not okay, I need to get free of this, I need your help. You're not going in a new direction. It's like you're stopping yourself by your self-belief here. Like you, like that feeling of being stuck, you're allowing it to not allow you to go towards a new direction. Very in your head. Flower spirit to me is like, you can change this, you can go into a new direction. You can flip the script if you flip how you feel about yourself. It's about changing those depressive thoughts. Like when we're depressed and we just want to stay in bed and not get up and do anything about it. Now it's time to get up. You can't just lay around and, and want things to change but not put forth the effort. So if you want a new direction, you've got to really get through these negative thoughts about yourself and get away from this toxic environment that you're in. like you want your freedom but what are you doing about it maybe it's time to really make a plan here ask for help All right. the gardener this is about planting seeds this is like putting your resume out there promoting your own business telling people that you need help planting the seeds with the people that can really help you find a new job, a new place to live, help you get money. Um, plant the seeds that you want to start growing in the future. Good seeds. Like, I'm going to get a new job. So plant the seed now by putting, working on your resume, putting it out there. If you want to start your own business, make a business plan. Start promoting your own business. Plant the seed so that it starts growing for the change that you want in the future. Sea Witch. Let me get a clarifier because I'm getting a couple things. Please clarify the sea witch for me. Please clarify the sea witch. Okay. Tiny triumphs. You are gifted. You can manifest what you want here. But you're whack mentality is manifesting the wrong things you are having tiny triumphs all the time but you're not realizing it within yourself maybe you're sticking up for yourself in tiny ways every day it's starting to make an impact um, instead of working on the big giant picture and trying to manifest the outcome try working every day one step at a time to make those tiny triumphant moves towards your freedom pay attention to how far you've really come my dear friend, this is talking about um, loving yourself, being your own cheerleader, being your own self-motivator. This is talking about reaching out to friends that might be able to help you um, either get that job, move. Maybe you can stay with friends for a while if you need to. Protective nets. Protect what you believe in and protect yourself from negative people. Um, don't allow them to shake up your self-belief. Um, this could be you actually getting your own place and protecting it from toxicity starting a new business protecting your image protecting what you're doing from any negative entities people feeling stranded and keys on trees 
Alright, what are we feeling stranded about over here? Maybe I clarify this. Ava, feeling, feeling stranded about your abundance. Maybe you lost your career, maybe you lost a job, maybe you're in business for yourself and it, it hasn't been going well this year. You're just feeling stranded like it's not going to get any better. Again, referencing stuck, stuck like nature, not seeing the fact that you are abundant. You do have abundance. You can pull your abundance. This is just a roadblock. You're not going to be stuck here forever. You have the answers inside you, the answers all around you. It's time to pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities, um, accept help from others. Really dig deep within yourself. What can you fix about this situation? Where do you want to go in this situation? Sitting down and figuring it out when you're calm. You've got to center and ground yourself to see the truth here. No rain today. What does that card say? Secrets. Hmm. Clarify the secrets card. Oh, there's one flipped up. A long way home. Okay, so this is about getting out of those toxic feelings. It's not, you're not going to be this stuck forever, you know. You're not going to have bad luck forever. You're not going to be stuck in a bad home or a bad job forever. But it's going to be some work finding yourself and getting to where you need to be. It's not going to happen overnight. But it is, you could be a long way from home. My home is my castle. <laughs> so you drifted far from yourself. You are your home. You need to come home to yourself, loving yourself, believing in yourself. You've drifted very, very far from your con moral compass and your belief in yourself. It's time to come home to yourself. I feel like the secret card came up because you're not being honest with people in your life and how much you are struggling. It's time to speak your truth. Yeah, that you, you need help with this transformation. You need to get out of relationships that are toxic, jobs that are toxic. It's time. No more waiting on it. Abracadabra. You can manifest this. You do have good luck. Um, Spirit is helping you here. Whether you see it now or not, they are helping you. Like a bird, it's time to fly from this toxic nest. You know how when birds are learning to fly, you know, they just got to take that leap of faith and trust they're not going to land on their face. That's exactly what you need to do. Trust in yourself. Put yourself out there and trust that they're going to lead you in the right direction. Night ride. Going on that fool's journey. It's time to go on a new journey. A new start. Rose Garden. You, starting that abundance within yourself. Starting to transform yourself and your life. It starts with how we feel about ourselves. That's step one. Making a plan on what you really need to do and what you really want to change is step two. And putting forth that action is step three. Maybe you need a better job. Maybe you, to put forth energy in that is to make a resume and put it out there. Don't just get up and go to a job you hate every day and expect your life to change. You know what I mean? you got to put forth the effort. The Red Garden... Follow your passions. Pay attention to how you're feeling. Can you hear me? <laughs> this is spirit is giving you signs, trying to give you direction, but you're not seeing it. But you're also feeling like spirit left you out to dry here. They didn't. You can fix your life. You are the one that can fix it. It takes you getting up and actually making the impact now. I feel like you've let depression kind of clip your wings. Change of seasons. I feel like in spring, it's going to be, you're going to feel so different. Your life is going to be so different. If you put forth this energy, it's time to do that now. Um, step one is to really sit with yourself. Make a plan. Do you want to work for yourself? Do you want to work for someone else? Do you need to write a resume? What would make you happy with work? Step two would be... How do I feel about my relationships? Is this relationship working for me? Is this something I need to leave? Do I need to move by myself? Do I want to move in with this person? Figure that out. One thing at a time, one step at a time. But now it's time to get up and take action and 
to change your life. You can fix your life, but you can't just sit around thinking about it. Spirit is recognizing you've been doing a lot of that. Put forth the action. Get the gumption to go and do that. I know that's easier said than done, but it's time. If you want your life to, ha to, to change for the better, they're right here with you. They will help you through it. But it's going to take you taking that leap of faith. You starting. And the time is now. So I hope that was helpful out there. I hope they gave you the advice you needed. And I will see you all next time. Bye.